Hello, this video introduces the International Aviation Management class. The aim of this course is to look at the aviation industry, but to look at the aviation industry from a global point of view. And what's it mean, the global point of view? Well, it means that we will be looking at the different stakeholders of the aviation industry, such as airlines, airports, air traffic controllers, and so on. And on top of that, we'll be looking at the impacts in society. So what are the interactions between air transport and society? How many jobs uh, air transport generate? Uh, what is the influence on the economy on a city, for instance? Those are the things that we will look at when we are talking about the global perspective. All of this will be from an emphasis on the international uh, perspective, international point of view. So we won't be limited to one single country. We'll be having a broad view, a global and international view. That's why it's important that you have a look at the geography, uh, airlines and airports, not only in one particular country, but all around the world. So what is my philosophy for learning? Well, there are two, four elements. The first one is people. For learning, people are the key. Second is innovation. We have to find different ways to learn in a more effective way. And maybe not everything works the same for everyone. That's why you to try uh, different ways. For instance, in my case, I'm trying this new technique of what is called flip the classroom, which is you're supposed to watch, first the class, and then we will have discussion in the classroom. Third is to look at from the global point of view. So don't limit yourself about uh, looking into your surrounding areas, but have a broad perspective. And that's something that I have very present all the time uh, in the class. And fourth is action. I think that the best way to learn is by doing. So I try to apply that in the classroom. It means that you won't be only listening to the class, but you will be doing and speaking and doing assignments uh, and so on. The cost count include the following element, aviation geography. We'll be looking at the aviation from different points of view on the world map. We'll be looking at the sociocultural element. For instance, what is the main languages used in aviation? Or the economics element. How is the influence of aviation on the economy? Globalization is a very common term these days, and we will be looking how air transport has facilitated globalization. But there are also negative elements, which could be the effect on the environment. If we keep growing and growing the industry, what is going to be the impact on the environment? And Sometimes we have like a bad news of geographical disruption. It could be a earthquake, it could be a war. And what is the role or how air transport can be affected in those cases? To end up, we'll be took it as a case study, the Turkish aviation sector. And we will be analyzed as a SWOT analysis, strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. This is an important thing for, I'm sure for all of you, is how do I pass the course? Well, basically the cost is from zero to 100. That will be the evaluation for every assignment, every exam and so on. And how is divided? Well, I try to have a continuous evaluation. It means that all the assignments that will be done individually and in groups, they count for more than half of your grade. In fact, they count for 60%. So we'll have 30% for individual assignments, 30% for group assignments and 40% for the exam at the end of the term. After we get this grading in number from 0 to 100, this number is converted into a letter, which is the letter, uh, the letter grade. And this is the table that I will be using to convert your numeral grading into a letter. Some rules for the course. First, about groups. Basically, this is mandatory that everybody of, uh, in the class will belong to one group. And each group will be of five to six members. In this case, 
you will form your group individually. So you will choose your uh, group mates. If you don't manage to find one, I will uh, allocate you in one group. Everybody of you will have a block. For those which already have one, maybe it's a good opportunity to improve it. And for those of you who don't have a block, don't worry because you will uh, get one. But it's important that all the assignments that you will do in the course, they will be placed on your blog. We'll be using LMS as the main platform to uh, have all the class material, videos, presentations, assignments, and so on. And in the classroom, I want you to get ready before coming to class. So you will have some videos, short videos with small quizzes uh, sometimes. And the idea is that you will watch those videos before coming to the class. And then in the class, we will have more time to discuss the content of those videos and even to work on some of the assignments, either individually or in groups. Please, always bring your laptop because most of the times we will be doing some work during the class. And I invite you to have an active participation in the class. Thank you.